Now let's continue the demo. I have switched to Visual Studio because now we are going to work a little bit with the page code. The page code is the bootstrapper for Speak and it also contains the MVVM model for the entire page. This basically means that you have uh, a reference to all the renderings on the page. From the page code, I could access the, the header title, the text box, the text, whatever you want. So let's see how this is done in, in Speak. First of all, we need to add a bit of JavaScript and we'll go into add new items and we are in the Speak section and we'll do the page code and we'll call this list page. And this is what you get. Um, the top line is for require.js. This basically says we need cycle uh, before we can run uh, the list page. The list page extends the basic cycle uh, application and this initialized method gets called whenever the, uh, the page has been initialized. We'll wire this, um, this JavaScript page up uh, to the uh, page code and we have the script file name right here. So let's browse for that. Client, your apps, list page, list page, here we go, all right, that. Let's just make sure that we didn't break anything. And it's still working, excellent. Now let's put some code into this one. Now, as I said, we have a reference to uh, all the um, um, uh, renderings on this page. So we can actually go like, like that, and we can search for home instead. So now we should have it search for home. Let's see if this is working. And there you go, it searches for home instead. Now I thought it would be interesting if we were actually outputted how many items would be in the search results. So what we'll do is we'll add a, um, uh, a new uh, rendering to uh, the layer. I will call this text one. I have a text two, which in the page body, so let's just change that. And we'll put it up here. Oh, I didn't work. There we go. There you go. Like that. Let's see if we didn't break anything. Didn't break anything. So whenever the items of the search data sources change, we should update this new text field. And we'll do that. Data source. Um, on change items and we'll call the update count function. Update count is a function like that. And we'll get the items from the data source like that. And then we'll set the text to set text and we'll get the items length plus items found here. Okay, so basically when the uh, items change on the data source, we'll call this update count function and this will get the items and the length of them. And we'll put that into the text to control. So let's go and have a look, see if it works. 12 items found, we'll go for home, 86 items found. So this seems to be working. So this basically shows how you can do event handling in the uh, page code.